Hey guys, it's Haps, and in today's video, we are back with Brotato, and I'm feeling the mage today. I'm feeling a mage run. So the mage gives us elemental damage modifications are increased by 33%. You start with one snake and you start with one scared sausage. But on the downside, melee damage modifications are reduced by 100%, range damage modifications are reduced by 100%, engineering modifications are reduced by 100%. Okay, I mean, I guess it just makes a lot of sense to go wand here because we're going to be scaling up elemental, so we're going to be dealing quite a lot of burn damage. So let's take wand and let's jump in. So the way the wand works is you hit an enemy and then it burns and it spreads to other enemies. So you can see there it spread. So that's how the wand works. Um, let's see how we can do here. Spread at all. Yeah, nice. Hit you. Spread across these. Okay, 53. And I mean, we want to push elemental, um, but we're going to take some dodge here. We want more wands. So let's roll. We take it. And roll again. Roll again. Roll again. Another wand. Okay. Three wands. I'm just pushing one to start with. I want to get a full set of wands straight off the bat. And then, then we can think about how... Well, how we get through this, basically. Play you. Nice. Good bit of damage. Take you down. Rotate around. I think a little bit of speed so that we can actually get away from stuff is going to be pretty nice. 40 left 10 on the table. That was a bit of a mistake. Speaking of speed, we'll take it. Uh, roll. Wand. Roll. Lock wand. And go. Okay, I'm pushing one pretty hard here. Pretty hard. Trying to get the ones in the early rounds. Just locking them in. And then we'll think about some HP. Because we're pretty low on the old HP side of things. So HP. We got... We picked up the speed, which is pretty nice. It means that I can run around to collect up the material that's dropping. Because it's kind of kind of just drops all over the shop with this character. Because um, it's sort of hitting everything all over the place. Um, but 81's okay there. Harvesting will take. Elemental damage will take. Coupon into wand. Trees. Roll. And, I mean, we'll lock... And we'll roll. Okay, there's nothing there. We need we need one more wand. Okay, clear you. Nice. Still lacking on the old HP side of things, but... One thing we could look to get is range as well. It means we can just stay away from the enemies. Don't have to get too close. We can just look at making sure that we're dodging anything that comes our way. Anything that's running, basically. So we want to dodge things that run at us and laser balls. That's what we're looking to dodge. Okay, one, two, four. We can take some dodge here. Yeah, we'll take the dodge. And some elemental. Roll. Roll. There's another wand. Some attack speed. Lose a bit of damage. Yeah, we can do that. Roll 10. You know what? We'll go into wave five. Okay. I feel like I feel like I would have liked a few more ones up until now. Would have been a little bit nicer. Um, we picked up some elemental damage though, so the damage is a little bit higher. The burn damage is a little bit higher. And we do have that speed. The speed's actually coming in quite handy because I'm able to go and collect all this material, which can often be kind of left around. Take you, get up here, nice. Maybe we can get this tree as well. Maybe there's an item there isn't. You just never know. You just never know. 169. Um, I mean, we'll recycle this. Harvesting, we'll take it. And, I mean, big luck, actually. We'll take that. Coupon and roll. Wand, definitely. Elemental, take, roll. Elemental, regen, lose a bit of speed. Happy to do that. And we go. Okay. Elemental damage starting to scale. Starting to scale up. Let's. Uh, we're just going to keep keep the elemental push for now. 
Um, crit is another thing that we could look to do because that would just double everything. So yeah, that, actually that's not a bad shout. That is not a bad shout. I think crits one thing. Oh, I got to be careful. I have got to be careful because I cannot take any hits from anything. <laughs> die around me and I'll just mind my own business just run around and collect up my materials my well-earned materials okay just accidentally walked into that we'll take this up here gotta be careful there I nearly ran into a dead end um, we'll take the HP another wand take you take you roll flamethrower could be fun we're bringing a flamethrower in. <laughs> that could be great fun. Okay, wave seven. Let's look for these pods. Let's try and make sure they stay clear. We don't want any of those spawning. Take round. There's one over there. Should get there. We do. Just keep spawning. I mean, I'm a bit disappointed we've not found any more. Unless we did find a sausage. Maybe we did find a sausage and I rolled past it. Have it, just I have this recollection of that is actually what's happened. Um, we'll be able to check that afterwards. It will be a bit of a mistake if I did, and if it was, I think it may have been in the early rounds when I was kind of like hard rolling for ones. Um, so yeah, so if that is the case, don't do that. <laughs> Pick up the sausage. We'll take the extra HP, uh, and then I think I think I'm just gonna take range here. Flamethrower's coming in. And you are. We're going to keep you locked. Roll 10. I mean... Flamed Knuckles. We're pretty ranged, but Flamed Knuckles is pretty good. But we're not going to take it. We're going to continue down the path that we're, we're going. Okay, wave 8. Just going to keep pushing elemental damage i mean if we can find more flamethrowers they they that oh i need to not walk into okay let's see if we can find some hp push the big guy burn the big guy down there's the hp just oh, oh, watch out for you okay, you're burning so as soon as they're burning we're good just get the burn item nice and clear these out up there burn you watch out for this burn this dude feeling pretty good about this now actually a couple of items here a few items and actually a lot of materials left over we'll take recycle like attack speed would be pretty nice i think we'll take that and HP is also going to be pretty nice here. Elemental health regen, less enemies, a little less damage. I'm going to pick up you, you, lose a bit of speed. In fact, we'll take this as well and we'll roll. And yeah, I think we just go wave nine like this. Our damage is a little bit reduced. Um, our damage goes negative, but our elemental damage is kind of crazy. So. I think what we need to do is make sure our, our damage is not negative percentage. So I think we'll pick up some, some damage stats at some point soon. Now, with every run that I do, it all comes down to the elites and how and which ones we face. Like they are going to be the, the difference between me making this and the losing this. So it'd be interesting to see which one we face. Um, and whether we can get through. I've lost all the speed that I picked up early on. Um, I've kind of given it away for elemental damage, which I don't feel too bad about. I think we'll get some more later down the line. But 10 seconds, and I've got so much here already, material-wise. Actually feeling pretty nice at 407. We've got a little bit of harvesting as well. 453. Okay, we're not critting that much, so I might just recycle this roll we'll take the attack speed another flamethrower definitely think we should bring that in combine combine bring you in roll it 
We're not capping our HP. Um, medical turret out there could be pretty useful. Roll. I mean, this is pretty useful. 254. Can we get through wave 10 so that we can use this? Because uh, what I want to do, I mean, I kind of want to bring in this wand as well. Um, so we're going to lock this and just going to go into wave 10. We can go into wave 10 like this. Get through this wave and then we get a nuclear launcher in here. And that could be, that could be big for us. In fact, that will be very big for us. Okay, actually having the flamethrowers is also pretty nice. Don't know how, yeah, the, I don't know how the elites are going to go. That's the, that's the thing. It's just, it's just going to be the elites. That's going to be the tricky thing for me. Get through the first elite. I think the first elite is going to be the hardest. Because it's the one we're not set up for. It's the one we're going to be the weakest for. It's the one we're not scaled into. Um, that will be for sure the hardest one. If we can get ourselves through that one. Then I think we've got a chance. Okay. 535. And let's get damage positive again. Um, let's get some extra HP in here. We'll combine you, we'll bring in this, combine you, bring in you, get a little bit of speed, roll, uh, burn activates 10% faster, lose a bit of range. Yep, we'll do that and we'll bring this in. And I think you have it, consumables explode, so I think garden makes sense as well, so we'll lock garden. Okay, first elite, let's see how we get on. Which elite is it? Oh, it's the spawner. Okay. Just got to make sure everything is taken out. We don't want anything spawning. What? Wait, how, how so much damage? Where did all of that damage come from? What? <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand where all that damage came from. But I'm just going to survive, you know what? I'm. We might be able to push, but... I'd rather just survive this. And uh, and I think the best way for that is to just kind of stay out of uh, the spawner's way. The spawner is like my least favorite one. So we're just gonna chill over here for now. Get some of you. We survived. We survived. We could have pushed, but honestly, I'd rather just survive there. We'll take the fin. We'll take some dodge. Okay, five max HP plus two HP regen for every permanent negative speed you have. Okay, well, that doesn't really help us, does it? What insane. Another nuclear launcher. You know what? I think we just... I think we just scale the one that we got. I don't want to bring in two. I, I I think it just fires too slowly. This does not work for us though. <laughs> Cause this'll this this will this will hurt us. So we'll roll past that. Damage to elites will lock in. And yeah, we'll go to the next wave. Wave 12. Okay, we got a top tier nuclear launcher. Now I'm not gonna I've I've got to admit, this is not your typical mage. Um you don't often see mages <laughs> carrying nuclear launchers around but hey it you know that it's here it's doing its thing okay i mean it's working really well to be fair it does a lot of damage so crit is one thing that i could we want to pick up more hp dodge and crit is just the sort of things that we want to go for but I don't, I'm, yeah, I'm never, never going to not turn down HP at this point just to give us a buffer. Um, speed's another thing that we could also do. And we pick up consumables, they explode, which is pretty nice. Take you out. Flamethrowers are working well. Um, pick up range, we'll take that. That could be quite useful. Attack speed, we'll take it. Pick up you and roll another nuclear launcher 
And actually, we can bring in some HP regen. Okay, we're going to go wave 13. So we've got some HP regen as well now. Pretty nice. So nuclear launcher. Do Am I going to bring in another nuclear launcher here? Probably. Probably. I, don't, I, I can't see a world where I get away from it, to be honest. I don't see a world where I get away from it. And I think what we'll end up doing is going down to two ones. I don't. I feel like the flamethrowers are doing too much damage. We could double check the damage, actually. We'll double check the damage, but I feel like the flamethrowers are just too good. Oh, that's kind of painful. Let's rotate around down here. I mean, hang around the turret. That'll heal us up as well. Watch out for you. Good dodge there, actually. Okay, 3 3 1. We're not picking up much in terms of materials. Um, I'm, I kind of want to bring it in for. We're going to have to recycle you, bring this in. Roll 19. There's a flamethrower. Okay, wave 14. Two flamethrowers, two nuclear launchers. Pretty comfortable at this stage. Okay, actually, the nuclear launchers are kind of nuts. <laughs> I mean, they just annihilate everything in sight. <laughs> it's one way to keep the wave under control, to not let anything spawn at all. We still get hit, though. Okay, go around the outside. Good. Take the item. Don't get the item. Clear the wave a little bit. Still think some some dodge and some HP would be pretty nice. I mean, crit would also be pretty good. There's a few things. I don't... I like... We could push elemental damage a little bit more. Not picking up much of this. We'll take the attack speed. Uh, we can take some more HP regen, actually. Some health. We'll take it. We're bringing you in. We don't need any more luck. Um, so I'm just going to roll it. I mean, the sledgehammer's pretty nice. Um, do I need to bring it in? Probably not. I think everything's pretty rangy, so I think I'm just going to leave it. Um, we'll roll 28. We'll take a free roll. And we're not going to take you. Uh, we could take the nullify. And we'll go into wave 15. Okay, next elite. Okay, let's see if we can take you down. I think with two nuclear launchers, we stand a good chance. But we just got to make sure that we don't get caught out here. Quite easily get caught out, mind. Rotate round. Okay, we're nearly there. Come on, nuclear launchers. Get it done. Get the job done. Okay, we're good. We're good. Good dodge. That's a great dodge, in fact. And we got the we got the life back from taking it out, which is pretty handy. Now, can we get just stuck in here and clear this so we can get some of this material? We can. Oh, it's good. Okay. That was a good round for us. That was a good round for us. Critical hits deal 10% of enemies' current health as bonus damage. 1% for bosses. We'll take it. Um, we need to crit then. So we're going to roll here. We could take the luck or the dodge. I'm going to take the dodge. Lifesteal, dodge, melee damage, range damage. I think we take this as well. Extra dodge. The dodge is big. Take you. And then we get the free roll. And we'll go. Wave 16. Okay, big increases on dodge there. Gives us a bit more of a chance. I mean, <laughs> double flamethrower, double nuclear launcher, double wand. It's it's a crazy build. We actually haven't done much towards um, increasing our damage um, in, say, the last kind of like couple of waves. But we, we got massive increases on dodge there. We actually slightly reduced our elemental damage. 
play you. It's pretty good. Like, just don't want to get a little. We don't want to get complacent. It's not as simple as just like charging in. We just want to play it, play it sensible. Like the big dudes will still charge at us. They still will do some damage. It is easy to forget that. It is easy to forget that when everything's like just dying in front of you. Like the big the big guys are here to here to still mess things up. So three eight seven. Wow, the dodge gets us to pretty much max out. Um, lose some speed, get some armor, some HP. We'll take it. Yeah, we'll take this. We'll lock this for next turn, and we'll take the free roll, and we'll go. Okay, wave seventeen. We're gonna get we're gonna get a flamethrower to the top tier next turn. Okay, so our dodge is now pretty much full. We got a little extra HP. We got a little extra armor. The damage is still as it is. These bone guys take a an absolute beating. Okay, we're just going to stand here. Just letting the nuclear launchers do their work. Still need some crit though. I think now that the dodge is maxed out, honestly, if, if I see crit, I'm taking it in the shop. I think that's going to be the key, is taking that. We've also got the. We can maybe get an item? No. Run through here, maybe an item down there. We do get the item there. There is an item dude running around. Didn't see it until late. We're not going to be standing still, so we we'll recycle you. Flamethrower in. Crit elemental damage. We definitely take this. Roll for free. A nuclear launcher. Unbelievable. We're going to have two top tier nuclear launchers. Um, we could lose a bit of speed to get some elemental damage, but I'm going to roll 25 here. And you know what? We're just going to go straight in because then we can pick up the nuclear launcher next time. I know we can roll 33. We'll roll one more. Okay, yeah, we will. We'd go straight in. Okay, 18. Which elite is it? It is you. Okay, let's just... Make sure that we are not going to get caught out. We do have good dodge, though. That is key. The dodge has just come in there. The nullify also. So much damage when you take the hit. My god. Okay, trying to do the work here. Trying to stay within the distance of the flamethrower. Just to add that extra element of damage. We should get it though. Okay, there it is. Now we need to try and get as much of this material as we possibly can. Because we want that nuclear launcher. Okay, 489. Is that enough? I think it is. Max HP, restore HP this way. I'm just going to... Restores 4 HP per second. I mean, you restore one HP per second. We can't, how many, what's our consumables? We heal, we can't really get, we don't get that. I mean, do I want to take this? I don't know if I do, you know. You know what, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll recycle you. We don't need any more dodge now. Um, we could take some extra attack speed or we could roll for elemental damage or crit. Or HP. Bring you in. Take a little bit of armor. Roll. Because now we don't. Now the medical turret is kind of pointless. Um, and we're gonna go into wave 19. So medical turret's now pointless. We will heal every four seconds. But I'm just hoping that we won't have to. And I don't know if that's gonna be a mistake picking that up. Um, we'll find out, I guess. But it, the extra, the extra benefit, it's going to be pretty nice. I think maybe it is going to be a mistake. But every four seconds feels like sorry. Every four, every one second feels pretty good. It's just how how it's going to how it's going to go on the final boss. That's that's what I'm a little bit concerned about. We need as much of this material as we possibly can.
Just kind of get it stuck in here. Just keep healing that four every second, please. Okay, five, three, one. Community support, lose some armor. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess we'll take it. I guess we'll take it. We don't need the dodge. We roll 28. With, I mean, the elemental damage is there. I think we take this. Damage, lose, gain one armor if we take hits. I think we take this just for the damage. We'll roll it. Another nuclear launcher top tier. We can't bring that in. <laughs> we can't bring that in. We'll roll. I mean, we could take you, but I'm going to roll one more. There might be something better. Um, we'll do this, and we, I think we're probably going to have to go. We lose a bit of range, get some extra HP. We don't want negative range. You know what? I think we're just going to go... Yeah, we're just going to go in. Go to wave 20. So this is this is what it's all about. We're just going to try and burn them both down at the same time. Nuclear launch is just going to keep hitting that patch. See what we can do. The dodge is going to be pretty key here. The nullifieds come in. Just taking our first hit. Big damage. I mean, if we could take down this dude, this dude's the toughest one. Because it's the one that's swinging around. The other one we can chase. I mean, the dodge is actually massive. It's keeping us alive. There it is. And now we just need to take down you. Can we get the mage over the line? We're up 35 seconds. It's a pretty impressive mage with the nuclear launches, I'll be honest. But we uh, we should be good here. And there it is. And there it is. We get a mage danger five run over the line. Significantly helped by the nuclear launches. I'm not going to lie. We did really push it from the weapon side of things. Um, but there we have it. I mean, I'd have liked to have got more crit to actually make this worthwhile, but it still did 23,000 damage. Doesn't, I was kind of hoping this would show us how much it heals. It uh, doesn't show how much damage it prevents. I was kind of hoping that they would do that. That would be pretty cool. But only, a th only 1,400 damage dealt by the spicy sauce, so not too much from here. I don't know if I missed some of these, but they did 14,000. But there we have it. There we have it. I guess we could look at the damage up here, actually. We've got 8,000, 24,000, 21,000, 5,000, 8,000, and then 22,000. So yeah, I mean, the flamethrowers didn't do a huge amount. Probably better off sticking with maybe the ones, but or put, picking up more nuclear launches. But there we have it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, maybe like and subscribe. But thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one.